What's going on everyone? My name is Kodamore and welcome back to Web Development Episode 13. In this episode, we are going to talk a little bit more about styles and how to make our styles a bit more practical because the way that we're doing it right now isn't too, too good. So here I have a simple div and I'm just applying a couple of styles, a background color and a text color with some text inside of the div. Now, let's say that we're gonna learn a bunch more CSS things that we want to put inside of this div. For instance, we can change the font size of the text here by doing the font size CSS property. And this takes in any font size. So for instance, we can change this to a 26 point font. And if we reload the web page, the font size will be much bigger. All right. Now let's learn another tag. Well, wait a second. This style attribute is getting filled up completely. It looks terrible. I can barely see what's going on here. It's just a bunch of cluttered text. So we have to be able to organize our CSS styling a bit better than just using the style tag. And luckily, there's a very easy way to do that. So we can just completely take out the style attribute of the div, and that's going to return the div back to normal. And we can apply the style in a much more clean way. And this is the way that you should do styling in HTML. Inside of the header here, we can open up and we can close the style tag. And within these two style tags is where we can put our CSS code again, except it needs to know what text on the web page to affect. So in this case, our text is contained within a div element. So all I have to do is write the element's name, so div, followed by an opening and closing curly bracket. And within these two brackets, I can put all the code to affect my div on my web page. So here I can do something like background color again, and I can set that to yellow. I could do our font size that we just learned. Font size, I can do a 20 point font. And what about if we want to change the style of the text? We can do font dash style, and we can set that to something like italic. And that'll italicize the text just like the i tag did. So what if we want to make the text bold? Well, that is controlled by the font weight property. And the font weight, you have a bit more control over just using the B tag or the bold tag in HTML. We can say that it can be bold, or we can say it can even be bolder. Or we can specify a specific value like 100, 200, 300, up to 900. So I'm just going to do that and see what that looks like. So all of this CSS code is going to affect the div on my web page, as you can see, so it should affect the text within that div. And if we reload the web page, as you can see, that works perfectly. My text is italicized, bold, it's a different size, it's highlighted, perfect. Now, let's say I'm off creating my website, I'm on a roll, and I have a second div down here, maybe I even have a third div down here. Perfect. So we can reload the web page, and as you can see, every single div has that styling on it because they're all divs and up in my style tag, I'm telling it that every div on my website should have this style to it. Well, I guess I could change these to paragraph tags like that. I could change that to a paragraph tag and they wouldn't be affected, which is correct, but that's not what I want. I want to use a div on my website that doesn't have these styles applied to it. And that is where IDs come in. We can give every element on our web page, for the most part, a unique ID. And they're created by attributes. So this first div can have an ID of, I don't know, we can set it equal to div1. And it can be pretty much anything you like. I'm going to set the ID of the second div equal to second div. And maybe I'll set the ID of the third div equal to div number three. So now they all have unique IDs. So how do we access these IDs inside of our style tag? Well, instead of just applying all these styles to every div tag on our website, we can actually put the ID name here. But in order to do that, we have to put a hashtag symbol in first, followed by the ID name. So we can do div1. And that will only apply these styles to whatever element on my web page has the ID of div1, or this first div right here. So if we reload it, as you can see, the second two divs are completely normal, but the first div has the styles applied to them. And let's say I wanted div number three to have a different style. Well, I can just add to my style tag here and I can specify the ID div three and in between curly braces, I can set whatever I'd like. We can do, I don't know, background color, whoops, background color, and we can set that equal to red. And if we reload our web page, as you can see, div number three is now highlighted in red. So we learned about IDs and hopefully we all understand how those work. Of course, we can apply these not just to divs, we can change this to a paragraph tag and it could have an ID and the style would still be applied to it as you can see. But let's say we have a bunch of items on my web page. 
For instance, let's say div number one and the second div right here should have the same exact styles. Well, I guess we could just copy div number one here, paste it below and change the ID to second, second div. But that's way too much work, especially if we have 10 divs that should have the same styles. So we are going to learn about CSS classes in the next tutorial, which are going to make our lives much easier. So we learned today about the font size, weight, and style properties, as well as, I suppose you could say, the proper way of applying styles to your web page using IDs and the style tag inside of the header of your HTML document. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.